The death of Trayvon Martin in Florida earlier this year has sparked a national debate over the Stand Your Ground law. Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman shot and killed the unarmed teenager and now claims the shooting was justified based on Stand Your Ground. The Sunshine State was the first to adopt this legislation in 2005. Since then, 30 other states have enacted similar laws. It's a creation in the law that is totally unnecessary. Chuck Morton is the chief assistant state's attorney in Broward County, Florida's second largest county. He spent 35 years prosecuting criminals, including murderers. According to Morton, stand your ground is flawed. The ability to stand your ground doesn't give someone the right to confront, attack, or pursue, and then claim, I'm standing my ground. As a prosecutor in the trenches, Morton is experiencing firsthand why this law is making it difficult for police, judges, and fellow prosecutors to do their jobs. The scenarios that we have in Florida, someone who is in their car, on the road, uh, who is being punched. Uh, someone reaches in the car and punches him. Because he has no duty to retreat, he can now pull out a gun and shoot the person who's punching him. Isn't it more reasonable that the person just simply pulls off and leaves? rather than just pulling out a gun and shooting that individual. But the stand your ground law allows that person to shoot and, and, and claim that as a defense. Morton says certain provisions in the law are too arbitrary and confusing, like presumption of fear, which forces police and prosecutors to presume someone feared for their life, even if the evidence doesn't reflect that. If stand your ground is invoked, the defendant has immunity from civil and criminal prosecution. And then there's no duty to retreat even if retreating means saving a life. If it appears that it was unreasonable for someone not to have retreated under the circumstances, then uh, that should be a factor that one should consider. If protecting citizens was the goal of the law, then Morton says it's not working. It's not making anyone safer. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Amber Statler-Matthews, reporting for the Lawyers.com channel.